Is there such a thing as the best gouache paper? Is it even possible? Rather than selling you a specific paper, I want to give you tips to choose the best paper for you and for your specific project. And everything relies on your art style. Hello, bonjour, I'm Cécile, a French artist, and my mission is to help you becoming a better gouache painter. Today, we are talking about the best gouache paper for you. First thing first, what is this project for? Is it just a practice for you? Is it a commission maybe, or maybe you plan to sell it one day? And this will determine if you are using a sketchbook or loose paper. This is really important to begin with this. You know, I love sketchbooks uh, because they are a great way to keep a record of your practice and your improvement and how your style is evolving. But let's say, for the sake of this video, that you want to use loose paper. Uh, not that I don't want to talk about sketchbooks, but the variety of papers you can get in a sketchbook is a bit different than loose papers. And maybe one day I can make a video about how to make your own sketchbook with your own paper. Let me know in comments if this is something that you would be interested in. My second question, now that we have decided to go for loose paper, how much water are you using in your gouache painting? Yes, I know it's not watercolor, but you can use a lot of water in gouache as well. And sometimes you really need to have a paper that can handle a large amount of water. This is why if you are using a lot of water, I would advise you to use paper above 300 GSM. But I don't know for you, I don't like my paper to buckle and after 300 GSM you're safe and you can put a lot of water on the paper, it will still handle it very well. Unlike watercolor painting, you don't need to buy expensive 100 cotton paper for gouache painting. You could as well use pulp wood paper that is cheaper. I think the surface is more important than the composition of the paper. And my third question is, do you like to paint with a lot of details? My personal style is more with bold brush strokes and few details, but maybe you like thin lines and using small brushes? Then you may like hot press watercolor paper. The surface is really soft and you even have a satin finish. Uh, this one is my favorite of all time. And maybe you're not too much into details, you prefer visible brush strokes and a lot of textures on your painting, then you can go for cold pressed watercolor paper or even rough watercolor paper. This is a level beyond. Yes, it's interesting, but you need to know that you will need more gouache paint than on a soft texture because you will have to fill all the gaps and bumps of the paper. And this is something you may want to consider, especially if you are selling your art. And if you like a lot of water and a lot of texture, the best way to go is for a pad glued on four sides so you don't have to tape your paper on the table and so it will prevent the paper from buckling. From buckling. <laughs> Sorry. And I love it. I have a rough pad that is from Clairefontaine, which is a French brand. Is this video helpful? Please put the like button so more people can see this video. And YouTube knows this is a good one. Thank you, merci. My fourth question is, do you like to use dry brush techniques? I mean by this, you take your brush with a minimum paint inside and you just rub it on the paper so you get nice effects. If the answer is yes, then you want a paper with texture. If it's too soft, it won't be possible to make these effects on it. Let me show you that. Here I'm painting with a very dry brush on cold pressed watercolor paper and you can see how the paint is really showing the texture of the paper. And this one is a very soft one, kind of a bristol. And yes, there are still a bit of texture, but it's less interesting than on the bumped paper, so to speak. So if you like dry textures, 
and you're not using too much water, you can go for paper under 300 GSM and you have a wider range of choice now. One thing that could be really interesting to use is a paper we call C à grain, which is by Canson. And you have a soft texture on one side, but you have more textures on the other side. And also it comes in a large variety of colors. And painting on a toned background is really great with gouache paint. This is something, if you haven't tried it before, you need to try to paint on black, on blue, on toned paper, and you will see how your gouache paint is popping out on the colored background. Plus, you will save money as you don't need to paint all the background. And lastly, we have Bristol paper. You have absolutely no texture on it. It's perfectly smooth, maybe a bit too smooth for gouache. It depends on the brand of the gouache. Uh, cheap ones won't adhere very well to the paper. They will kind of slip on the paper because they have nothing to grip on it. And you want to be careful with these kind of papers. It might be tempting to use them, but really, I don't like them at all, but I'll let you decide. As I said, it's your project, your painting, your choice. So really, I don't have any best gouache paper for you because I change a lot. It depends on my project, if I want to keep it in the sketchbook, to frame it somewhere, if it's on a colored background, because if you're looking into colored papers, you won't have the same choice. And do you like white or off-white, ivory maybe? You have a lot of choices. This is really not too much sometimes. So if you find a paper you love, you can just stick to it. That's the easiest way to go. And to summarize everything, I even made a flowchart for you. Yes, you can find it on the article I wrote on my blog. You have the link in the description under the video. But let's see. After you have decided that it's loose paper and not a sketchbook, the first question you want to ask is, do you use a lot of water, if not in general, in this particular project? Then you want to go for a paper over 300 GSM. Second question, do you paint small details? If it's no, you can go for cold press or rough watercolor paper. If it's yes, you want to go for hot press or even cardboard. Third question, do you like visible brush strokes? If yes, you will need a textured paper. It can be a sea grain or canvas paper even, or you could also go back to rough watercolor paper. If it's no and you don't want visible brush strokes, you can go for smooth paper that can be Bristol or cardboard. Now, I'm curious, what is your paper of choice? I'm pretty sure you have one you like. What I have not been talking about is the budget, and I know it can be an issue. So sometimes the most expensive is not the best one. Well, let me know in comments, what is your paper of choice? Because I might be interested in it. And now YouTube thinks this is the best video for you. Go check it and let me know if it was. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.